Hello friends. Today I'm going to show you some of my Benda hybrid Escasandra. This is a Escasandra Miniata. So today I'm going to show you how to report all the Escasandra all the Benda hybrid or uh, you can report with like Bangkok sunset also same way so the material is you can get the wire you can see the way I twist the wire made a one ring then I just bend and just for stable the plants look at the wire so I will tie the plants with the wear stand you can see I will get the wear cable cable tie cable tie you can see the way I tie so this way you can grow your Asuka syndrome this is Asuka syndrome miniata These uh, are most popular in the local, like Benda hybrid. Esca Centrum, people call Esca Centrum Miniata. So, after you tie, then put into the pot, then you get the stone. You can add around the plants put the stone around the plants get some more more plants for it's actually it's already planted you can see the stone so now it's already done and uh, for the stone get more moisture I will use I will use some charcoal on top it's uh, good for plants on top you can just add some charcoal so it's already done one plants so I will get the Esca syndrome, another another Esca syndrome. You can see the plants, and I cut the dead buds, dead skin, until the green bud come. Okay, it's already. I cut, then I remove the dead skin also and the yellow leaves, and all the uh, old flower bud. just check the way I'm using okay the same the ring I'm using you can see the way I ring I bend then I tie with the cable tie you can check the way I tie so hopefully you can grow your orchid also this way Hopefully my videos will help you to grow your orchid easily. Actually I'm not showing you a very typical way. I'm showing you a very easy way to grow your orchid. I don't make you so complicated using so much material, so much media. No, actually orchid is not very difficult. We are making so complicated about the orchid. If you want to know much more about the orchid, you can check on my YouTube channel. I already upload few already in my YouTube channel got thousand videos short videos tutorial videos all the orchid related gardening and tutorial okay now I get this charcoal below this uh, this Asuka syndrome I will uh, report with stone and charcoal together so it will the water will drain is very easily 
actually charcoal is the best media for the orchids but if continuous rain is not good if charcoal is not good for the plants if continue raining so i'm using because i'm planting growing the plants outside so i'm using mostly plants i using charcoal and the uh, stone so you can get this is the uh, miniatum vietnamica and ascasandrum this is a cross with vietnamica and cross with uh, ascasandrum williams so you can see i cut already all the old bud and i remove the dead skin I will cut some leaves also. So these plants are have, have many roots, so I don't use the wear because roots can start the stone. Root can root can hold the stone, so plant won't move. So I don't use the wear. If you want, you can use the wear for. more strong more stable your plants it's already done so now i'm going to show you you can see that this uh, vietnamic cross with uh ascocentrum williams so i got two two kikis two babies these two babies i don't grow don't grow with the stone or charcoal this baby should be grow with the moss this if you grow with the moss it will grow very fast while you replant or repot the orchid like banda escasandrum all this when your plants are mature then you can use the charcoal you can use the um, stone even you can grow without any media but when the plants are very young very young then you have to use the moss then now i'm going to show you how to use the moss you can see the way this is the way i using the moss i add some more moss i wipe the plants then i put into the pot you can see this is the moss because moss always get moisture if you once you water you don't need to water one a week you, you just water one a week and it will be it will be grow very fast so you can see the way i use the moss then i put into the pot and you press harder so it's already done it's a planted this is also bando hybrid I cut the dead roots and I can grow with the without wear and with wear up to you you can is any way you you want I now this one I will use the wear Actually if you use the wear it's a very good for planting because your plant own move and plants will be get more support with the wear and get more support and can be stable with the pot so the root will stuck around all the clay pot 
so you can tie with the cable tie you can tie below and on a center actually you can use the charcoal or you can use the straw uh, please remember that if you are really grow inside the house like indoor plants or you grow in the corridor you can use the charcoal you don't have to use the stone so now I'm using some stone and uh, sorry I'm using some uh, charcoal you can see the way I'm cut all the dead roots so you can grow your orchids in corridor with charcoal only you don't need to use the stone because in corridor you can manage your water because I'm growing orchid in the outside because sometimes it's a rainy rainy days like uh, almost every day rainy so I'm using for stone because it's, if even every day raining also it won't get any problem with the stone so thank you so much for clicking my videos see you on next video thank you